Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Manchester Town Hall. Thanks all for coming today. A, a packed top table for a packed show on Saturday night. Um, firstly, Mr. Munyo will be with us in about five or ten minutes. He's on his way over from Preston in traffic. Um, he'll be here to talk about his uh, fight with Scott Quigg for the WBA Super Bantamweight title. Very excited to be here this Easter weekend in Manchester. It's a great show. Um, obviously, one of Britain's few remaining world champions at the moment, Scott Quigg, set to make his third defence of his WBA Super Bantamweight title against Mr. Munyo. I won't have a go at his first name. But this is a tough test for Scott Quigg. Um, his original opponent, Nomar Semeno, pulled out due to visa issues. And I think, uh, you know, we knew what a tough fight Munyai was. People have seen him on these shores before, defeating the likes of Martin Power and Lee Haskins. And uh, he's a, a top fighter, coming off four impressive victories, former IBO world champion. I think ranked seven or eight in the uh, WBA right now. And uh, I'll take my hat off to Joe Gallagher and, and Scott for accepting the challenge for Munyai. Obviously, stylistically, it's very different uh, to Semeno, and it's a tough fight ahead for Scott Quigg. The Manchester Derby, um, which has got everybody talking, you know, and looking at the uh, bookmakers' odds earlier today, it's, it's a complete pick and fight. John Murray taking on Anthony Crawler for the WBO Intercontinental title, but moving away from the title, something that means much, much more. Um, you know, a city divided, as we talked about, a red and a blue, um, two good friends with everything on the line. And uh, it's a huge fight for both of their careers. Obviously, both fighters, John looking for a second shot at the world title, and Anthony looking for his shot at the world title. I feel as though the victor on Saturday will move in pole position to do just that. Talking of a, a few other people at the table, another real interesting crossroads fight, if you like. Josh Warrington meeting Rendell Monroe for the Commonwealth featherweight title. It's a, it's a great fight. Obviously, Rendell operated at, at world level coming off a defeat to Lee Selby and Josh coming off winning the title in a great fight against Mamuna in Hull. It's a, it's, a, it's a perfect fight really to find out where Rendell is in the game and he's still got aspirations of, of big, big fights and big titles and Josh coming on to meet by far the toughest test of his career. Down on the end, Tyrone Nurse taking on Tyler Goodyear for the English light welterweight title. Again, one that's uh, very, very difficult to call. And amongst the other fighters on the bill, uh, Jose Albert, who uh, is, a, is a fine, fine talent, like heavyweight, one of Joe Gallagher's boys, who is uh, looking to step up on the show. And of course, delighted to welcome back what I believe is one of the biggest prospects in world boxing, Callum Smith, who, having only been out for, I think, five or six months, feels like he's been out for two or three years because he, he's used to boxing every week. So he's back in action, starting off the show on Sky. And uh, delighted also to be uh, welcoming Callum back to the show. It feels like it's been a, a long time. I'm going to get a few of the guys to say a few words at the table. Starting uh, with Tyrone. Tyrone, a few, a few words ahead of your uh, English light welterweight title fight with Tyler Goodyear. Yeah, I'm uh, training up really well. I'm really looking forward to it. It's a big opportunity. It's finally come. You know, it's, uh, it's, been, it's been a, it's a long time away and it's been mandatory for nearly a year now. So, uh, you know, I'm expecting Tyler to show up and put in. You know, 100% and uh, come out on top as a victim myself, so uh, you know, I'm into bigger and better things after that, but you know, Tyler, good job first and foremost. And Tyler, obviously coming off that eliminator win against Danny Connor in December, this is, this is a big fight for you on Saturday. Yes, yeah, um, you know, it's a massive show, you know, a massive opportunity to show, you know, what I'm made of and you know, this English title is my world title fight at the end of the day, you know, for the game there, it means the world to me. Uh, I know that Tyrone thinks that you know he's levels above me, but I'm going to go in there and I'm going to shock him Saturday night, and uh, yeah, just do the business. Good stuff, Jose. Obviously, uh, in your hometown, yeah, at the big arenas. You looking forward to Saturday? Yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, first title fight for me. Um, I'm glad I'm on one of the first, so I can watch the rest of the show. <laughs> <laughs> Got a lot of Jose, but <laughs> <laughs> Keller, obviously, uh, you know, back in action, six round contest ahead of the fight with Tobias Webb in Cardiff. Looking yeah. forward to it. Yeah, just glad to be back. It's been a long few months, and hopefully get this one out of the way. And then you know, I've got a decent fight in Tobias Webb in May, so it'd be good to have two quick fights, quick succession. And obviously, uh, 
interesting shake up in the super middleweight division at the moment. I think you feel as though, and I know we spoke in the week, the plan obviously Saturday night, May the 17th, and then July the 12th in a really big fight in Liverpool. Yeah, the plan has always been to keep stepping up after each fight and you not know, get Webb out the way, and then I'll feel I'm ready for another step up in Liverpool. And to uh, talk about the main event, Scott, you're looking uh, very focused, very well. I, I saw a piece yesterday where you talk about you feel as though you're, you're in the best ever condition mentally and physically for this fight, obviously. Talk about your preparation and also the change in, in challenges. Yeah, obviously we was training for Semeno. Uh, issues come up with that. But it's changed on perfect. I couldn't be in any better place. And every fight says that, but when from the last fight, I've improved again so much. And if I've not been improving, then I've been doing something wrong. So this is on Saturday night, you're going to see the best lot of that's been seen. I know I've got a tough fight against uh, Munyai. Uh, we know what he's done. He, he come over here and beat Lee Eskins and Martin Power up there on beating records. Well, I'm on a different level to them. And I've got to go out there Saturday and I will do. And I'll prove that I'm you know, world champion and I'm ready for them big, big fights. We talk about obviously the future, our plans, you know, Martinez, Santa Cruz, Frampton. This is feels like the final sort of chapter of the of the defence stage before you move on to those unification fights. Yeah, this is this is that's it. How many people have felt like the final word before them big fights? Well that would be happening to me. I'm fully, fully focused on Saturday and Munya is a very dangerous opponent, totally different style to what we was preparing for. But like I said, this is what you've got to deal with and I will deal with it and deal with it in style. Look forward to that. And I know that it's unusual to have, uh, well, sometimes to have a trainer at the top table and we all know that as well as the, the Matrim show, this is also the Joe Gallagher show, <laughs> as we've seen on Twitter. But I felt it was right to have Joe up here to talk about. He's got four fighters on the bill and obviously uh, a lot of involvement in, in the Anthony Crawler John Murray fight. And Joe, a few words about your fighters on the bill, obviously Scott's changed your opponent, and also uh, the Crawler Murray fight. And, and you know, I ask you not to be shy. I know that uh, you're, you're, you're shy and you're <coughs> speechy pro, so yeah. far away. Sound. Hope you enjoyed breakfast this morning, eh? Thank you. Cheers. Welcome everybody to the Joe Gallagher Show. Uh, um, listen, I can't wait for Saturday night. Uh, first of all, it's 20 years next month since the passing of Phil Martin. Um, Phil Martin was very instrumental in keeping Manchester boxing on the forefront with Brian News at the time and to be a, a product of that successful stable um, and now to be headlining with the great Manchester kid Scott Quigg, Anthony Crawler, one of the best world prospects in Callum Smith and one of the most best prospects in Britain, Jose Byrne. It'll be a, a proud night for me as well. Um, but like I say, 20 years to the day. Going back to business, Jose Burton. Um, first title fight, it's come on really well, really impressed with him out in the wild card in America this year. Um, and like I say, he's a big puncher, he's the biggest puncher in our gymnasium. Hard to believe when I've got Callum Smith beside me, and we all see what Callum Smith does when he hits fight night. But um, Jose's last performance was really good against a big cruiserweight. I'm just looking forward to him to going out there now and uh, winning his first title. Um, next up after that then will be Callum Smith. So, so pleased to have Callum Smith back boxing. Like I say, being out six months, I think he took British boxing, not just British, but world boxing by storm. His first 12 years, first 12 months of his career, um, nine fights, nine wins, six first round knockouts, took the British record, won the English title, won the WBC international title. And for a kid that suffered so much Olympic heartbreak to come back and adapt to the pros, you see other good kids over there um, who have turned pro from the Olympics and not making that, um, transition as good as what some might have liked them to have, but for Callum, the way that he's done it and the mannerism that he's gone around it, and I just can't wait for him for Saturday night. He's fighting a good kid, 43 wins, 10 losses, being in with world-class fighters like Sylvester, Dominique Sparda. Um, so it's a tough fight back. We're not um, overlooking um, this fight. I know we've got Tobias Webb coming up, but like I say, we've got um, this fight first, which is a tough fight. Eddie's shown me what the bookies have got Callum tomorrow night as, but I'd be really happy for Callum to get six rounds under the belt tomorrow night. That's what I want from him, and hopefully uh, Saturday night, and that's what like. Thanks, Anthony. Um, cheers. Next up, then, obviously, Anthony Crawler in the big Manchester derby. Um, like you say, he's um, trained really well. Obviously, he had a cut, suffered in Scotland. 
Um, that's hampered training a little bit early on, we didn't start sparring until late, then he suffered another little injury. Um, but like I say, since uh, the last few weeks he's sparring with Liam Smith, um, he's been second to none, sparring the British and Commonwealth light middleweight champion who's just absolutely a replica for what we want. Um, Antonet is uh, really in a really, really good place. We've seen on ringside last week, very confident. Um, I was very bullish in my column today. And like I say, a lot of things have been said before this fight from John Murray and his side and everything else. And I, I, I do be embarrassed a little bit sometimes of things, what were said, and the lads in the gym laugh about it because for somebody that be Anthony, that, so, that somebody be Anthony, be Anthony Crawler um, every round, every sparring session, well, if it was that easy, why is he trained like a demon for it? Listen, it's got to be a, a good fight on the night. Um, um, but like I say, um, Anthony Crawler, I really do think he's got to, I do a number. He's called the better kids. He's got the better names on the record. Um, like I say, and he's, and he's worthy of it. He's ranking in the world and um, WBO organisation. Um, like I say, um, good luck to John Murray and his team. Um, my only concern is um, uh, for after the fight, how John deals with the loss. I just hope everyone that around him looks after the kid. Next one then, Scott Quigg. Um, like I say, top of the bill, here he goes. Um, one of three world champions from Britain at the moment. And like I said all along, we've got to stop the rock. Obviously, with Darren Barker, Ricky Burns losing the world titles. Obviously, now we've got Scott Quigg who I say is the most dedicated and most fittest boxer there is in world boxing, British boxing. Um, he absolutely lives and breathes it and like I say, the results for itself over the last two years since it's been with spoke volumes from his first fight with Jason Booth in the British title to it being world champion now. Um, the, ma the measure of the kid tells you loads in January, didn't have a date, took himself off to America for a month and did something like 70, 80 round sparring to improve himself, all the lads in the gym. And there are a lot of talented fighters in the gymnasium just stand back and look at and in awe of the kid's dedication. He's got a huge fight Saturday night. Munyai presents plenty of problems. I think for any other world champions to have a, this difficult opponent a week's notice, I don't think many would have took it. Um, but Scott Quigg is very good shape. He's hitting extremely hard and he's out to prove that he is the number one super bantamweight weight in Britain. And right up there on the, on the tails of the, of the rest of them in the division, your Rigondos and your Santa Cruzes. Um, so I'm expecting a... Uh, a good night Saturday night from my stable anyway four fights four wins and all four knockouts and uh, cheers uh. thank you a quick one as well just to put it right don't be embarrassed that I have to go up here when tra people are world champions usually the trainers say if Munya is here it's training base so you don't have to apologise for that if you look at America look at okay. Okay. Sure. Uh. I wasn't really looking to apologise, but <laughs> <laughs> just just coming down a notch from that, talking about a, a fight which I find fascinating on Saturday night. Rendell, a few words talking about your challenge for the Commonwealth featherweight title and uh, what you expect on Saturday night. Um, obviously, I've been doing this for a while now. Obviously, there's another one to add to the collection, but you know, what I mean, no disrespect to anybody at all. But obviously, from the last fight, everyone can see that when people are saying Rendell Monroe's washed up. That, that, that was a bit of a joke, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, I'm coming out here to show that it's serious business and Rendell Murray ain't finished yet, he ain't washed up. He's still young at heart, as I'd say, and he's, he's, he's coming to, to take what he believes is his. At the end of the day, you know what I mean? All, all, all respect to Warrington, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, like he says, he's, he watched me come through the rankings and obviously I'm going to show him what it's like to get in there with me now. And Josh, um, obviously, uh, an agreeable step up for you on Saturday. I know you're, you're excited to get going. Definitely. I mean, uh, it sounds angry. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a massive test, and uh, you know, I worked hard to get to this level, and I want to stay at this level. And I want to progress further, and uh, I've got to get past like the likes of Brendan Munro to uh, to show that I'm at this level. And uh, you know, like like he just said himself, a lot of people would have thought that he's he's done much better. He's not, I know he's, he's been training hard and uh, I'm expecting the very best friend on Monroe, so it's going to be a good fight. Thank you. And uh, John, obviously it's been a, a great build up for this fight. You guys on pitches at, at, City, at Manchester City and Old Trafford and I know that uh, judging by your tweets and etc, etc, you're, you're bang up for this fight. Yeah, first of all, I want to start for, I'll apologise for Joe because I know a lot of you are paying for parking here tonight and uh, <laughs> you've got to pay a bit extra now after that long speech what you just give there. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say, you know, the build-up to this fight has been brilliant, me and Colo, you know, we are good friends. 
and I'm sure after the fight we'll still be very good friends. But as of now, my fight face is on. I'm ready to knock Anthony out. I've trained hard, and I'm not happy with the points win on Saturday. I want to knock him out. I'm coming to knock him out. I'm hungrier than I've ever been in my whole career. I'm vicious. I'm violent. I'm ready to come and knock him out. Let's get it on Saturday night. I can't wait. Thank you, Anthony. Um, response. Yeah, first of all, um, as I said it when the fight was made, it's fantastic to be a part of this. The turnout today, appreciate everyone coming in. I think it's a fight that's captured the, um, the city's imagination. And listen, Josh just said, we're good friends, we'll be good friends after it, probably better friends after it for the respect, but we've both got very different opinions on how it's going to go Saturday. John can be as violent as he wants, strong as he wants, tough as he wants. It won't matter on Saturday, I'll have my hand raised, I promise you that. I think this is a, a great fight, a great derby in, in the city of Manchester and I think epitomises the greatness of the sport of boxing. These two great friends, but we know that's going out the window on Saturday night and uh, I can't wait for this fight. I think, like Anthony says, it's captured the imagination of everyone and uh, you know we can't wait to see this fight on Saturday night. Um, we're going to break for photos in a minute. I think uh, Mr Munyai is here as well. We're going to have head-to-head uh, -head photos with, with everybody here. Everybody's going to be available for, for one-on-ones as well. Um, doors will open at five o'clock on Saturday. We've got Pat Card, Liam Hamrahan, Sam Hyde, um, Sam Eggington, also added to the bill, Jack Massey's is Pack Show. And we'll be on air on Sky Sports 1 from 7.30 p.m. Um, first up will be Callum Smith kicking off the show and then Josh Warrington, and then we'll move on to Anthony Crawler, John Murray, and Scott Quigg against Munyai. So it's a, it's a packed show. Also to let you know that um, because of the numbers we're expecting on Good Friday, we've moved the weigh-in um, to the Manchester Central tomorrow at 1 p.m. So please let, let everyone know uh, to get down to Manchester Central. Thank you very much for turning up today. We look forward to a cracking show on Saturday night. Thank you very much.